If you are a totally obsessed tennis player, I'm going to teach you how to do two important things today. Number one is I'm going to teach you how to develop perfect technique. What's the secret? What's the fastest way to perfect your technique? And number two, how can you watch the ball better? If you watch this video, I'm telling you, this is a great way and a fun way to do it. So what's the fastest way to improve your technique? And what is everybody doing wrong out there? See, as soon as you start playing tennis, most of you are gonna start developing bad habits. Let me explain. As soon as you go out there and you start playing, what does the tennis ball do? As soon as you start playing tennis, that tennis ball, there's my buddy B2. As soon as you start playing, the ball bounces all over the place. Bounces high, it bounces low, it goes fast, it goes slow. And if you're out there playing with another beginner recreational player, well, it gets pretty ugly your first time out. And you're doing anything and everything you can just to get the ball in. And you're developing that bad muscle memory. You're developing bad habits the first time you go out. That's what most people do to start their tennis journey. And I want you to think, if you really, really want to be a great player, or at least the best player you can become and have really perfect technique, you can do this. It's easier than you think. It's training. It's not talent. I'll explain that to you in a second here, and I'll show you how it is actually training and not talent that's going to make you have perfect technique. But you're fighting an uphill battle. Now, let's take another craft that you might go learn. Karate, the martial arts. You know, your first time you go to a class, do you really want to fight somebody? Do you want to be in hand-to-hand -hand combat with somebody? You're like, no, no, I don't want to do that. I don't even know what I'm doing. So learning the moves piece by piece until they're perfect and you can actually put them into some sequences, you want to do that before you actually go into a fight, right? So you understand that that's the process. So you can start to develop good habits from day one, okay? And, it's gonna, and you realize it's going to take you a while to really perfect those habits. Well, if you treated tennis more like that, then you'd have a much better chance of actually developing really good technique. One of the things that most people do when they go out and they play, they're offhand. They don't use their offhand well. But again, does it take talent? Can you do this right now like I'm doing? Can you take your arm and just reach it across and have it be completely straight? See, that doesn't take talent. That just takes training to be able to do that over and over again. So when the ball comes, you're like that. But most tennis players never get to that. And what are you lacking? And you're not going to want to hear it. But guess what? Today I'm going to have something super fun and exciting to where you're actually going to love to do this. So make sure you watch this video to the end. And I'm also going to show you how you can get one of these cool things I'm going to show you today because you're absolutely going to love it. You're going to be blown away. The fastest way to improve your technique, to perfect it, is to take all the variables out of the game. Especially take this ball. This is the thing you want to do most. You want to go to the court and you want to use this ball. This ball is killing your technique. So you want to take this ball out of the equation. And what you want to do is you want to work on your shadow strokes. Now you might be thinking, that sounds boring to me, but it is so effective. How effective is it? The only tennis movie I've been to, to where I was not embarrassed to watch the tennis, is King Richard. And as soon as I sat down and watched the young ladies playing Venus and Serena play, I thought, oh great, they finally got some pretty good juniors to play the role of a tennis player. That's pretty smart. What I found out instead shocked me. They never have played tennis ever. But what did the person do that was training them? Did not let them hit a ball for two and a half months. They had to work on their shadow strokes. They had to not only have really good technique, but they also had to look like Venus and Serena when they hit the ball. And so they literally surpassed, most people have been playing 20, 30 years who've been working so hard in their technique, they surpassed them in just a couple of months by not hitting a tennis ball, by working on their shadow strokes. Another story I have is an Italian guy who played on the pro tour. He was a USBTA uh, coach. And he said, everybody in my group, when we learned how to play tennis, and we all that ended up being really good tennis players. We either, you know, top juniors or some of us even made it to the pro tour. The coach that worked with us did not let us hit a ball for six months. So I know that doesn't sound exciting, but let me show you what is. 
this right here, right here. This is so fun. This is tennis in VR. And so what, it, what this actually does, this is true tennis VR right here. I'm going to put the link below in the description box and also in the card section. So if you click up here, I believe up there or there, it's one of the corners. You'll see a little eye pop out. You can get yourself one. You can get yourself one of these rackets and then you have to have the Oculus. And the app is called True Tennis VR. And what it's going to allow you to do is two things. Number one, it's going to perfect your shadow strokes if you use it the right way. And don't worry, I'll be here coaching you guys through how to use the True Tennis VR in the months to come so you'll know the right drills and the right way to analyze yourself. Uh, so this is one of many videos we're going to be doing on this. It's really, really exciting. But what you can do, and you're, I'm showing you some video of myself, is you can really work on your shadow stroke technique as you're playing this fun game, you see? And that's the other thing it's going to help you do too. It's going to help you improve watching the ball better because when the ball comes on in it really allows you to be aware of the ball coming in watching the ball it's got a cool little yellow streak and it actually feels like you're playing tennis so it's really cool so it's great for so many things number one if you're just at home and it's raining or whatever and you still want to play tennis you can do that number two if you do want to improve your timing and the way you watch the ball this is a great environment to do it in and most importantly is it allows you to work on your shadow strokes, but actually have fun doing it. I find that most students that I teach, the ones that end up being really, really good, you don't have to tell them to work on their shadow strokes, and you don't have to tell them to do it the right way. They just seem to naturally, instinctually know to do that. But most tennis players, they don't want to do the shadow strokes. It's like, it's like eating broccoli for them. It's very, very boring and tedious, and for whatever reason, even though they maybe know that it will work for them. I don't know if you haven't bought in or not. It will work. It is the fastest way to improve your technique. So if you want to try one of these, go to the link below or in the card section. I put in the description box or in the card section and you can get yourself one of these. It's really, really awesome. I have a lot of fun doing it. And as you can see, it's really cool because you can be playing on a hard court, a clay court, you could be playing on a grass court, which is a lot of fun. And you could do different exercises. You can do a warm up routine, which has you start in the short court. And you can really, it really feels like you're hitting in the short court. And the targets keep changing. You can work on heavier topspin. You can work on your slice. You can work on your forehand technique. You can work on your backhand technique. And you can work on going side to side. You can pretty much do it all inside of there. And there's a bunch of different exercises to do. You can work on your cross court game. You can work on your down the line game. You can work on mixing up from going from cross court to down the line. Work on your drop shots. Work on your lobs. You can even work on your overheads. And it actually feels like you're playing tennis. I'm telling you the truth. You've got to try it for yourself. And uh, go in the description box. Go in the link up above. you got to have an Oculus, though. But you want to get an Oculus too. I'm telling you, if you're skeptical on this kind of stuff, like I was, once you put this on, it is a whole new world. I like to do my fitness exercises in here using an app called Supernatural. You can take a trip to Spain or France or wherever today by going in this Oculus, okay? You can literally be in VR and look around and see the streets and then look up and see the buildings. It's really, really cool. So you want to get one of these Oculuses anyway. And then you want to get this racket if you are a totally obsessed tennis player. And I did mention France and all that stuff. If you actually want to go there for real too, I'm going to put another link below because I just got back from the Rough and the Dow Academy in Spain. And we're getting ready to go to Paris. And then next year we're going to go to South America. And next year we're going to go to France. So if also traveling the world and playing tennis sounds good to you, I'm going to put that link as well below in the description box. And you can travel with me and go play tennis around the world. So fill out the form if you're interested in that. I'll be in touch. Get yourself one of these True Tennis VR rackets. It's a lot of fun. Take a look at it right there. It looks so cool. The weighting is perfect. And if you are obsessed with tennis, as I obviously am, then what you want to do is give this video a big smacking like. Like it up big time. And subscribe to this channel so you don't miss my next video. This is Pete from Time Coaching signing off. We'll see you soon.